let us go ahead in our syllabus before we begin wish you guys a very very happy new year and hope that uh, all your dreams come true in the coming year though your attempt is only not going to come but your dreams still hope that they come true okay i know that your attempt is in november most of you all right take it for your kind knowledge and information we are done with the chapter minimum alternate tax mein computation of book profit wala part is over which is the biggest and the most important calculation once the book profit computation wala part is over chapter is still not over plenty of important stuff coming up and we have to now go to we call them the points to be noted your general notes in minimum alternate tax there are about these 10 12 points in theory that we have to study this includes some case laws also this includes an all important concept called mat credit also this includes there are some companies that have adopted indas so they have changed the way they make their accounts so there will be some extra adjustments this includes that also about 10 or 12 points and the remaining chapter mat is over the theory and of course if if i am correct then we have done question number 2 7 and 9 already so jo remaining uh, six questions hai we will complete them as well so uh, by the end of today's lecture we are definitely getting done with mat completely and if time permits then we are also going to do at least start the next chapter alternate minimum tax ek ek karke small 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 points one by one first point your tax liability is going to be normal tax or minimum alternate tax what is going to be your liability whichever is higher this you will be comparing at the end at the final tax liability sir compare at the end final tax liability means basic tax plus surcharge plus cess under normal and basic tax at 15% plus surcharge plus hec under mat whichever is higher reason is if you remember नॉर्मल टैक्स में सरचार्ज कम्स बेस्ड ऑन योर अमाउंट ऑफ एंटिटी एंड मैट में सरचार्ज विल कम बेस्ड ऑन योर अमाउंट ऑफ बुक प्रॉफिट इट इज पॉसिबल दैट नॉर्मल इनकम एंटिटी आई इज एटी लैक्स एंड मैट इज वन मतलब बुक प्रॉफिट इज वन करोड़ फिफ्टी लैक्स तो मैट में तो देर विल बी सरचार्ज विल देर बी सरचार्ज इन नॉर्मल ऑल्सो इट अरे एटी लैक्स इज मोर देन फिफ्टी नो नहीं आफ्टर वन करोड़ इट विल कम करेक्ट और नो करेक्ट तो इट इज पॉसिबल दैट नॉर्मल टैक्स मे बी इज हायर अंडर एंटीटीआई वाला प्रोविजन कंपेयर टू मैट बट आफ्टर सर चार्ज मैट बिकम्स हायर मे बी इफ यू आर एलिजिबल फॉर मार्जिनल रिलीफ तो अगेन यू सब्ट्रैक्ट इट एंड अगेन नॉर्मल बिकम्स हायर इन अदर वर्ड्स वॉट यू विल डू इज परफॉर्म दी स्टेप्स ऑफ टैक्स कैलकुलेशन राइट अप टू एच ईसी अंडर नॉर्मल राइट अप टू एच ईसी अंडर मैट एंड फाइनली कंपेयर A or B, whichever is higher, that's the point. Compare the two tax liabilities at the end. Which two tax liabilities? Normal tax or minimum alternate tax? Whichever is higher, the comparison you will be doing at the end. Second, as far as your deferred tax ka adjustments are concerned, did we discuss about the whole controversy? Assessor was saying that I will not add back deferred tax because I am not doing voluntarily. It is an accounting standard which is making me do that. So I will not adjust deferred tax. In fact, Supreme Court announced in favor of Assessor that do not adjust deferred tax, but that was overruled by way of an amendment. In effect, now deferred tax liability will be added if debited, of course, and deferred tax asset will be subtracted if credited. Of course, in other words, deferred tax ka adjustments will be done, and we have overruled the Supreme Court ka. Judgment. So this was only again like a revision of what we have already studied. Third, whenever you do transfer to reserves, what is your adjustment in book profit? Is it there in the twenty nine? And if it is there, what do you have to do? Add less anything. Transfer to reserve, you have to add. Why? You are debiting your profit and loss account. You are reducing your profit, but it is not an expenditure. It is an appropriation. So transfer to reserve. There is a rule that we have to add it. करेक्ट ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम रिजर्व में वी एक्सक्लूड रिवेल्युएशन देन दैट डेप्रीसिएशन वाला एडजस्टमेंट बट ट्रांसफर टू रिजर्व वाज वेरी सिंपल एड यू फॉरगॉट यू डिड ट्रांसफर टू रिजर्व बट यू हैव नॉट एडेड यस इट इज एन एरर यस इट इज अ मिस्टेक यस योर बुक प्रॉफिट इज रॉन्ग यस योर मैट इज रॉन्ग 
what should you do to transfer to reserve add but you have not added it's a mistake you forgot surprisingly the assessing officer also did not pay attention to this he also missed it by oversight or test check or whatever you may call it the ao also did not pay attention to this can i say finally there is a mistake in your mat computation chali but tell me in your accounts in your books of accounts where is this amount lying in which ledger can i say the amount is lying in your reserve account because you've debited the pnl and credited the reserve so in your books of accounts the reserve is still existing after some years what happened this amount which is lying in the reserve you have done transfer back to pnl matlab transfer from reserve to pnl so this time you have credited the pnl account by transferring money from the reserve to the pnl account is it increasing your profit in accounts yes is that an income no so normally when we do transfer from reserve to pnl what is the treatment in book profit computation you have to less it but this will not be subtracted and the reason the logic is very very clear when you transfer you did not add so when you transfer back you will not subtract as simple as that or you may put it this way that we are correcting our past ka mistake today and now i will speak the sentence in english 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 if transfer to reserve was not added in the past then transfer from reserve will not be subtracted normally your duty is transfer to reserve add transfer from reserve subtract while transferring to reserve if you have forgotten to add so while transferring back to pnl you will not subtract and we are basically correcting our past mistake very easy to understand chal next i don't know whether you have noticed it or no then let me specify there is no chapter 6a deduction in mat check kar lo ek to first we arrive at book profit we all know that thereafter there will not be a single rupee of adjustment or segregation or anything directly we will apply 15% on our amount of book profit so whatever adjustment has to be done has to be done in the 29 and in the 29 on the left side ka 14 adjustments did you find any chapter 6a ka deduction nahi which means there is no chapter 6a deduction in that brought forward losses they wanted to give so they have kept a point as per accounts brought forward loss hello but chapter 6a we don't want to give or let me put it this way chapter 6a was the target why they introduced mat assessee is showing profit in accounts so shareholders are happy but in tax they are eliminating by way of taking this chapter 6a deduction and that was our target and that is where i gave my counter argument le gadeda log ek kaam karo remove chapter 6a deduction if you remove chapter 6a deduction then you don't need to introduce mat no and aunty has done that removed the chapter 6a deduction and removed the mat but option hai option hai that's the biggest problem the moment new regime becomes compulsory the amount of load of direct tax professor as well as students will be down by 30% no chapter 6 a deduction in that theek chali next congratulations and celebrations ca report is compulsory and this has to be done on or before the 44 ab due date same point was there in scz also once upon a time it was 139 one return filing due date but return filing and audit ka due date were same 30th september couple of years ago they made return filing ka due date as october but audit ka remained september and all these reports they want up to the audit due date isliye 44 ab and 139 one ka due dates are separate now audit will be september but return will be october so this has to be done up to september and this is you know agar if you have probably worked in offices for company related work and you may have come across this form called form 29b wherein book profit of any company is certified by the 
chartered accountant the same thing that you are solving by way of sums has to be done out there done by the article signed by the ca and huge amount charged not by the article by the ca okay so you get paid only for signature next time you feel demotivated ke kya yaar naya saal ka first morning new year after diwali and morning morning we have to attend a lecture beta you have to do this once in life professor has been doing this since 12 years samajhte ho what is the importance of this course in your life that your signature will be more powerful than that of the pm and i am not saying this you only said it your signature is more powerful than me i am not saying this okay so next time you feel demotivated yaad rahe you are going to become better than the prime minister good motivation enough for the day so that was the point ca report is compulsory next as i told you at the beginning that we are doing points to be noted in mat after book profit computation is over some theory points are there now we will come to some case laws we have some three four case laws to be discussed and once the case laws are done two very very important concepts one mat credit and second in day as adjustments those companies which comply with in day as there are some extra adjustments and in day as adjustments ke upar 10 mark ka sums kab only on that part okay they don't ask anything from book profit they ask these in day as ka adjustments aap you are understanding what i am saying so first the case law first case law bombay high court ka judgment normally i don't write a name of assessee when i do high court ka judgments in class but this is an important chapter as people are aware and also because it was mat which is why people were present yesterday also and today also and i appreciated the fact also if you remember that i i was very very happy and proud about all those who were present yesterday as well as today so you know the importance of this chapter isliye i am writing the name vk lal investment company limited are bro limited has to be there yaar this is a chapter applicable only to companies and only the name is new the point you are already aware book profit under section 115 jb will contain all five heads of income in other words other heads of income will not be subtracted in book profit so go check less side 14 points do we subtract ifos capital gain house property no why listen logic we have already studied if we subtract there is no place to add them back entity i may be subtract other heads because there is a separate category for every head but in mat book profit is total income if you subtract there is no place to add book profit will contain all five heads of income which is sharply different from book profit under 40b we some are like short term memory loss 40b abhi tak yaad hai partnership firm book profit for cal calculation of remuneration deduction their book profit contains only pgbp so in that book profit we subtract other heads of income but your book profit will cover all the five heads of income book profit is total income agar we subtract other heads there is no place to add them so what will happen normal tax will be computed on entity i which contains five heads and mat will be uh, computed on book profit which contains only pgbp then that will be inappropriate and therefore we don't subtract other heads book profit will contain all five heads वैसे we have studied that once it is not there in 29 is kutul is karul once we once we know that it is not there in 29 we don't adjust we know that so already we are aware of this case law and now we come to uh, two three supreme court ka judgments very important judgments first case law supreme court judgment apollo tires limited can your assessing officer question the net profit as per profit and loss matlab dekho what is book profit computation for those who don't remember it is dangerous to not remember between yesterday and today but in case you don't net profit will be starting point add side we will have 15 adjustment less side we will have 14 and do you understand this is how we get our book profit okay obviously these 29 adjustments may if you have made any error mistake to ao will challenge your addition and subtraction but we are in a situation where the assessing officer does not have any problem with these 29 according to him you have done everything correctly the ao has a problem with this figure the ao is saying your accounts are wrong the ao wants to question your 
net profit figure that's the question that i am asking whatever be your answer let me tell you it is irrelevant because whatever supreme court has said is only final but i want to know how you think because we are getting done with the practical chapters very soon and once we start volume 2 first time you will need calculator maybe directly in penalties chapter which is the 8th or the 9th chapter in volume 2 so there will be about 7 8 chapters without calculator ek assessment procedure mein there is one sum small sum but that is also testing whether you file return on time or no you can manage without calculator if i don't count that sum directly penalties ka chapter mein calculator will be required and in theory i i need to know how you think Okay, if if we were present in a physical class, shakal dekhya I can find out. Online class may be reason of video on is this only that face dekhya I understand whether you are understanding things or no. But but online class mein kya hai? Some statue ki tarah some people sit because video on is compulsory. Okay, whether their video hai, matlab whether they have network problem or no, that also I don't come to know. So I need to know how you think. Isle I am asking you. Have you understood the question? AO has problem with net profit figure. Sir, first question is, how does net profit matter in this chapter? Does it matter? Gadeda, that is the starting point of book profit computation. If the starting point is wrong, obviously your end point is going to be wrong only. No? Matlab, if you want to give CA ka exam, to your starting point has to be CA foundation, no, not JE, IIT, JE. No? Starting me wrong, the destination will be wrong only, no, yaar. Yes, can you question the net profit figure? He, is, he can question the adjustments, but he is not questioning that adjustment. He is questioning the net profit ka figure. There are only two options, yes or no. If you have understood the question, we will do our exercise. Those who think that the AO can be allowed to question will unmute themselves and loudly shout, yes, now. Some are saying yes. I believe the reason behind you saying yes is ultimately does it have effect on my tax liability? Anything that has effect on my tax liability, AO can question. Maybe that is your logic. Okay. Those who think no, he cannot question will unmute themselves and loudly shout no now. No, no, no. Dhruvin ne to chat box mein reason bhi likha hai. Dhruvin says it's an audited figure. Any other reason the other students who are saying no? But question is clear. Supreme Court ka judgment therefore we are having so much discussion. Okay. Okay. Whatever be your answer yes or no the class is beautifully divided as you are aware. Aisa nahi hai ke there is a strong yes or a strong no. So suno. First of all let us understand what Supreme Court has said. Supreme Court says AO cannot question the figure of net profit. Reason kya diya? One reason Dhruvin gave. Kya? It is an audited figure. But suno. Suno. That's just one of the reasons. Listen carefully. Supreme Court says that the assessee has made its accounts according to the company law. Matlab the assessee has followed all the schedule 3 ka requirements all the accounting standards the assessee has followed whatever is required matlab can i say the accounts are in compliance with company law okay after that the accounts got audited audited matlab not any chota mota admi someone whose work is more powerful than prime minister he has decided that the accounts are correct once ca audited the accounts have been approved by the most important people who matter in a company that is the owners of the company, the shareholders. They have also approved the accounts in the AGM. AGM ke under one of the points in the agenda is definitely submit the accounts and get them approved. And finally, these accounts have also been submitted to the MyBAP of corporate sector. The governing body in our country is ROC. Just like Apna CA ka governing body is IC, AI. So for company law matters, it is ROC, annual filing and all the work has to be done at ROC. In fact, LLPs are also required to do that. ROC also has no objection. So soon be assessing officer. You bloody assessing officer. 
यू ब्लडी रेजर्वेशन कोटा गाय द लॉ इज कंप्लाइड ऑडिटर हैज नो प्रॉब्लम शेयर होल्डर हैज नो प्रॉब्लम आर हैज नो प्रॉब्लम तू है कौन हु द डैश हु द हेल आर यू हु द हेल आर यू कौन है तू यू कैनॉट क्वेश्चन यू कैनॉट क्वेश्चन तो अपेरेंटली द स्टूडेंट ओवर सेंग नो हीरल रौनक ध्रुवेन आई थिंक दे आर राइट बट ऑफकोर्स रीजन में दे गेव वन पॉइंट सुप्रीम कोर्ट गेव फोर पॉइंट बट दो सैड येस द एयो कैन चैलेंज डोंट बी डिसअपॉइंटेड बिकॉज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ दिस जजमेंट इज नॉट दिस आंसर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट दैट यू हैव टू टेक होम फॉर एग्जाम पर्पज इज यर इज दिस दैट सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज लेट डाउन रूल्स फॉर नॉट अलाउविंग द एयो to question the profit figure if these four points are not complied so you know what ladies and gentlemen anything that has impact on your tax liability the ao can question the net profit figure means a company that has not complied with company law made mistake in making accounts और ऑडिटर हैज रिफ्यूज टू गिव इज ऑडिट बाई जूस पता है आपको ऑडिटर रिफ्यूज टू गिव द ऑडिट रिपोर्ट ओनली अभी एड टेक के नाम पे इफ यू कलेक्ट मनी फ्रॉम पेरेंट्स दैट वी विल गिव यू एजुकेशन एजुकेशन एंड देन यू गिव मनी टू क्रिकेट तो ऑब्वियसली देर विल बी सम प्रॉब्लम देर वर सम अकाउंटिंग रिलेटेड इश्यूज ऑल्सो विद दैट कंपनी इफ यू विश टू नो दे कलेक्टेड सब्सक्रिप्शन फीस मतलब थ्री ईयर्स का सब्सक्रिप्शन स्टूडेंट हैज पेड समवेयर इन द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी थ्री इयर्स का सब्सक्रिप्शन तो इन द करंट ईयर ओनली थ्री मंथ्स आर रिमेनिंग नो जनवरी में अगर पे किया तो तो एज पर दी ऑडिटर ऑन अक्रूवल बेसिस यू हैड टू रिकॉग्नाइज ओनली थ्री ईयर का रेवेन्यू इन द करंट ईयर एंड बाकी का स्प्रेड ओवर दी नेक्स्ट टू इयर्स टू फाइनेंशियल ईयर्स बिकॉज यू आर फॉलोइंग अक्रूवल कैश सिस्टम नहीं है दैट यू हैव टू रिकॉग्नाइज द रेवेन्यू पूरा का पूरा बट बाई जूज रिकॉग्नाइज फुल रेवेन्यू इमीडिएटली बिकॉज इफ दे डोंट रिकॉग्नाइज तो देर बुक्स विल शो चार हजार करोड़ का लॉस so they had to recognize all the revenue today itself you understand this was the problem so if the if the auditor is refusing to give his report if the shareholders have not approved the accounts if the roc has raised an objection that means there is something dark in the lentil matlab dal mein kuch kala hai and therefore in that case the ao can question the profit figure so final answer is neither yes nor no you know what is the final answer if these conditions are complied तो एओ कैन नॉट क्वेश्चन द प्रॉफिट फिगर बट इफ द कंडीशन आर नॉट कंप्लाइड तो एओ कैन क्वेश्चन द प्रॉफिट फिगर येस एंड नो बोथ बिकम अवर आंसर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट दैट यू हैव टू टेक होम इज कंप्लायस ऑफ ऑल द फोर कंडीशन क्यूम्यूलेटिवली मित्रो एनी कंडीशन डिससेटिस्फाइड एओ कैन क्वेश्चन द प्रॉफिट फिगर सो एवरी वन हैप्पी येस वाला नो वाला बोला नए साल के मॉर्निंग में डू नॉट डिसअपॉइंट एनी वन येस वाला ऑल्सो राइट नो वाला ऑल्सो राइट एंजॉय योर सेल्फ next again a supreme court judgment and again a very important judgment rolta india limited important hai but very easy very easy what is your tax liability if you are a company normal tax or mat whichever is higher fantastic fantastic that's absolutely right no controversy we understood the chapter by now but which amount will you pay in the form of advance tax because just for your knowledge i'm not teaching you dekho advance tax is one chapter in volume 2 and if there is a shortfall in advance tax to for shortfall in advance tax we are liable for 234b and 234c both sections mein there is interest which is also a chapter we have two chapters in volume 2 advance tax and immediately after that interest under 234 abc 234a is late filing of return so right now we are not interested in that 234b and c is a shortfall of advance tax if there is an total if there is a total four year ka shortfall so 234b comes and there are four installments of advance tax if there is a shortfall in any of the installments to so 234c comes what are these interest what is their calculation as i said they are chapters so they will be done one fine day currently the question is if there is shortfall in advance tax we will be liable for interest 
how to calculate that's a subsequent matter currently the question is advance tax should be paid on normal kmat liability will be whichever is higher but advance tax on what for example normal tax is 10 lakh mat is 12 lakh obviously liability is 12 but we have to pay advance tax of what 10 or just supposingly i pay 10 full that means have i paid 100 percent advance tax as per normal year got over year got over then i computed my mat i found out that it is 12 so can i say 10 i have already paid 2 i go i fill 2 lakh in a petty in a suitcase and as a must suitcase roll karte karte i go to the assessing over hi bro how are you Ola, fine how are you Ola, sab kuch thik. see my mat is higher it is 12 so finally it is 12 lakh ka liability i am ready to pay 12 10 i have already paid as advanced tax 2 i have brought in the suitcase keep Eo bolta, no bro you have to pay interest also because you have not paid full amount as advanced tax where say 90 percent also you pay it is allowed that i will teach you in the chapter advanced tax 90 percent also is allowed but you have paid only 10 lakh 90 percent of 12 lakh is 10 lakh 80 and you have paid only 10 so there is a shortfall and i am saying sir i have paid 100 percent of this amount as advanced tax and this is just an extra calculation and i have come here to pay that extra please take that the question is do you understand that if i calculate advanced tax on this then i have paid 100 percent then obviously there will be no interest but if i calculate advanced tax on this then i have paid only 10 lakh which is lesser than 90 percent of my liability also that means i will be liable for interest question is on what amount will you calculate advanced tax that's the question question is understood matter went till supreme court matlab it was a question of law correct or no supreme court went and read the advance tax ka chapter and the chapter says advance tax has to be paid on your liability advance tax has to be on what on your liability and this liability means what for normal assessees it is only one tax liability but for company it is two tax liabilities are you right from the beginning aware that you are a company you have estimated this so accurately that your advance tax is exactly 10 lakh if you are so good in your estimation then why can't you estimate your mat also because being a company you should be aware that mat is applicable to you mat or normal tax whichever is higher in our example mat is higher normal also could have been higher liabilities whichever is higher and advance tax has to be paid on whichever is higher because advance tax has to be paid on your liability in other words a little harsh on the assessing but the truth is that in this example normal tax is 10 lakhs mat is 12 assessee has paid full 10 as advance tax extra 2 he is ready to pay but he will also be liable for interest because his tax paid is having a shortfall it is a shortfall in comparison to his liability of 12 lakh advance tax has to be paid on the liability and there is a shortfall here are we understanding this Chal. next supreme court judgment karnataka small scale industries development corporation limited karnataka small scale industries development Deco, only the scale is small the name is very big karnataka and we stay in Mumbai, no, so we have this stupid tendency of assuming hey, South Indian and to bada bada naam. No. That South Indian big big name ka concept is only in Tamil Nadu. Only when I went to Kerala, I came to know in Kerala, no one has a surname. Father's name is used as surname over there. They use father ka name as surname. Big names are only in Tamil, but we are Mumbai cuts, no. For Mumbaikers, we find any any person from Karnataka or Andhra or or Tamil Nadu or Kerala. Amarele, everyone is Madrasi, Madrasi, Madrasi. So if you go to eat on a stall and he said dosa, wo dosa wala has come from Bangla. He is a Bengali, but anna dosa laga na. <laughs> because we have that tendency to typecast people, which is not true. 
एंड ऑल द जोक्स ऑल्सो वो तो मालूम है ना चिन्ह स्वामी मुत्तु स्वामी वेणुगोपाल यू नो एक के परम पीले परम बतूर चिन्ह स्वामी मुत्तु स्वामी त्रिचिपली एक के परम पीले परम चिन्ह स्वामी मुत्तु याद आया हाँ तो लिसन दिस इज कर्नाटका नेम ऑफ द कंपनी कर्नाटका स्मॉल फुल नेम इज देर इन द टेक्सट बुक बट यर इफ आई राइट माइंड दिस नेम आई फॉरगेट माइंड नेम Karnataka Small Scale Industries Development Corporation Limited. Forget the name and focus on the point. With the help of an example, we are in year one. In year one, our normal provisions may we have suffered a loss of hundred lakhs. That means, can I say entity I is zero? In fact, it's a loss that we have to carry forward. And what is your normal tax therefore? Zero because we have a loss, but surprisingly, we have book profit of five hundred lakhs. That is five crore, and if we have book profit of five crore, so please compute the minimum alternate tax, all inclusive. For me, mat ka rates I have already given you. Fast, don't waste time. The more time you waste, the longer we take class after ten because today no one has office. Tiding, tiding, tiding. एटी थ्री फोर्टी सिक्स कैसे आया फर्स्ट यू अप्लाइड फिफ्टीन परसेंट रेट करेक्ट देन वॉट डिड यू डू सर चार्ज आएगा फाइव हंड्रेड में हाँ सर फाइव हंड्रेड लैक इज फाइव करोड़ एंड सेवन परसेंट सर चार्ज विल कम एंड टाइम एज कम दैट यू हैव टू नाउ स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन दैट सर चार्ज का चार्ट विच आई आस्क यू टू फोर परसेंट सेस एटी थ्री लैक फोर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइनल आंसर Normal tax or mat, whichever is higher. Can I say this is our liability? I actually did not have to teach you anything in year one. My concept is hidden in year two, but उसके लिए year one का figures were required. So are we clear? In normal we have loss, so there is no tax. But mat being higher will become my liability. Year two, my normal income is one twenty lakhs for the current year. Of course, we know that we have brought forward losses of hundred. Current year income is. 120 lakhs and book profit. It's a mere coincidence. I want to keep the example simple. Therefore, book profit coincidentally comes to the same figure as last year. So at least as far as mat computation is concerned, see, I am so fast. I have computed without calculator. 83 lakh 46 thousand mat for year two. The discussion is about normal provisions, and this is where you have to focus. Under normal provisions, current year me I have 120 lakhs ka profit. But I also have brought forward loss of one crore hundred lakhs. Option one, I take set off. If I take set off of the brought forward loss, do you understand my entity I becomes only twenty lakhs, and therefore on twenty lakh, what is my tax as per normal provisions? Assume Indian company. First of all, it has to be in old regime. That is why book profit is being calculated. If it was new regime, so there would have been no book profit. And old regime may assume it falls in more than 400 crores cut on over, मतलब 30% tax. कोई कोई को तो याद भी नहीं है what are the things that I am talking. More than two years ago turn over more than 400 crores, 30% basic. 30% basic will be six lakhs. Surcharge आएगा ना because year also surcharge has come तो year also surcharge will come no? नहीं नहीं year it depends on book profit but year it will depend on entity I which is only 20 lakh. So Six lakh plus four percent says six twenty four. Is it just to verify this? What will be the liability of this company? Finally, can I say six twenty four or eighty three forty six? Whichever is higher case, up say you will get eighty three forty six as your answer. Correct. Your company was under doubt. Bola yar sir set off leke bhi. Finally, I have to pay what liability eighty three forty six because normal or mat whichever is higher. शेट यार एक काम करते हैं लेट अस डू नो सेट ऑफ मींस डू नॉट एडजस्ट द ब्रॉड फॉरवर्ड लॉसेस इफ वी डोंट एडजस्ट दैट मींस कैन आई से करंट ईयर के 120 लाख को भी मेक अवर लायबिलिटी मतलब एंटीटीआई एंड ऑन दिस एंटीटीआई वी विल कंप्यूट अवर टैक्स लायबिलिटी कंप्यूट 30% बेसिक आफ्टर दिस व्हाट विल बी व्हाट विल बी योर स्टेप आई वांट टू नो दैट आफ्टर 30% बेसिक वेयर यू गेट 36 लाख व्हाट्स योर नेक्स्ट स्टेप टू 
उठो रहे नींद में से आफ्टर थर्टी परसेंट बेसिक वॉट्स योर नेक्स्ट स्टेप स्टेप पूछ रहा हूं आंसर नहीं सरचार्ज दिस टाइम विल कम बिकॉज वन करोड़ ट्वेंटी सो सेवन परसेंट सरचार्ज फोर परसेंट एच ई सी प्लीज गिव मी दउंट लैक्स को यू कान राउंड ऑफ तो फोर्टी लैक सिक्स थाउजेंड जीरो एट जीरो इज दैट दी अमाउंट चलिए इफ आई डोंट टेक सेट ऑफ तो माई नॉर्मल टैक्स इज फोर्टी लैक सिक्स थाउजेंड स्टिल यू कंपेयर विथ मैट तो दिस ओनली इज हायर मतलब वन थिंग इज फॉर श्योर वेदर आई टेक सेट ऑफ और आई डोंट टेक सेट ऑफ आई हैव टू पे एटी थ्री फोर्टी सिक्स दैट इज आउट ऑफ मतलब देर इज नो डिस्कशन अबाउट दिस नाउ आई हैव टू पे एटी थ्री फोर्टी सिक्स ओके असेसी सेड दैट आई विल नॉट टेक सेट ऑफ एंड देर फॉर अकॉर्डिंग टू दी असेसी हिज लाइबिलिटी वॉज फोर्टी लैक्स और एटी थ्री लैक्स विच एवर इज हायर कैन आई से अकॉर्डिंग टू दी असेसी दिस इज कमिंग एज दी आंसर एटी थ्री फोर्टी सिक्स and ao says no assessi beta no beta no no your liability is 624 or 8346 whichever is higher ke hisab se 8346 matlab look at what went to supreme court according to the assessi between these two whichever is higher according to the ao between these two whichever is higher matlab what is the final tax liability according to the assessi 8346 what is final tax liability according to the ao 8346 both have the same liability still this matter went to supreme court khela hobe still this matter went to supreme court time pass hobe can you tell me why it went to supreme court that is more important than the answer but how does it matter because ultimately to Not only you have to pay. No, eighty-three forty-six is higher. My question is whether I take set off or I don't take set off. What was the need to go? Look, see, I am the assessee. Rona, I am the assessee. You are the AO. If both of us are computing the same liability of eighty-three forty-six, then what is the need to go to Supreme Court? this is why the case went to supreme court that once i take the set off it has gone so in year 3 i don't have any loss for adjustment anyways i have to pay 8346 so better to not take set off so that the 100 lakhs gets carry forward to future the case was about carry forward liability is 8346 the case was about carry forward of the loss of 100 lakh and assess is thinking what they go anyways what do i have to pay 8346 to better to not take set off and carry forward my losses because i still have 7 years 8 years carry forward hota that was the idea ladies and gentlemen boys and girls sun lo please sun lo if you have never heard this before from any other teacher or from me set off of losses is not allowed set off of losses is not allowed set off is compulsory set off is not allowed it is compulsory you don't get set off of losses you have to take set off of losses set off is not optional set off is compulsory matlab you have to pay also higher one and your losses will also lapse very very hard but we have to make a rule like this i'll tell you the reason supposingly i start my business in year 1 i have losses of 5 lakhs theek hai first year lot of people have losses only no gestation period second year i get profit of 250 listen carefully i should adjust my brought forward loss and make 250 0 but i am not adjusting you know why anyways on 250 i don't have to pay tax then why to exhaust my losses year 3 i have 5 lakhs still because of rebate it is becoming zero i am not Year three, I have, I have eight lakhs. I am thinking, yeah, twenty percent bracket. Hai, but take a no problem. Still, I will not adjust my losses because it is still twenty percent ka bracket. And then year four or five, when I reach fifteen lakh ka profit, thirty lakh ka profit, when I have to pay thirty percent tax, that is when I am adjusting my brought forward losses. I am purposely postponing my set off to those years where I fall in higher tax bracket, and they don't want you to do that. 
set off is not allowed it is compulsory and therefore you have to take set off and still pay the higher liability very hard on the SSE but that's the rule ladies and gentlemen that was your Supreme Court ka judgment Karnataka small scale industries development corporation limited is that understood Chali. as I told you that we have some points to be noted we have few case laws and after the case laws we have two big concepts very important concepts we have a concept called mat credit on which we have two points and we have a concept called end as adjustments on which it's one point only but very big we have to do both of them Aap bolo, kaun sa pehle karna? I am so ready with both only what do you want to do first both you have do no important thing so I have one system which I follow in my life I used to follow as a student also and I follow as a teacher also always get done with the difficult and complicated stuff first whichever subject you hate no that should be your second subject when you do self study first you don't start with that okay first you start with the subject you like the most because you are not in the habit of studying self study you'll get into the habit only with something that you find interesting once you get done with you know my time i used to find sfm very interesting but so no let me be clear confusion nahi chahiye not black and souls okay SFM very interesting matlab does not mean black and souls matlab I used to find dividend policy portfolio management mergers and acquisitions very interesting I saw fat 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 sums ka answer used to come they used to tally confidence aata tha I finished SFM in about one week when I had not got my study leave also to confidence aaya then I went to the subject I hated the most because I was in the habit of studying and if you postpone that subject no you will finish your easy 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 last mess hoega yaar chhodna abhi isko karta hi nahi okay so let's go to the difficult part first let's go to the in days adjustments in computation of book profit thoda sa history sun lo india has adopted in days ek to stop asking stupid questions sir india mein ifrs ko bhi to tight slaps i will give you IFRS cannot come to India. Indian IFRS are international standards. Indian standards will be modified and made in accordance with international standards and we call them IND AS. When these adjustments came for the first time in the assessment year 1819 that is 2017 ka budget, this was an amendment. India ka government said that companies have to adopt IND AS in a phased manner. So every balance sheet date some companies have to mandatorily start adopting indes phased manner ke andar to once companies start adopting indes do you understand that the way they make their accounts will change if the way they make their accounts will change so that means their profit and loss ka statement will change if profit and loss ka statement will change matlab starting point of mat will change and if starting point of mat will change so we have to bring some more adjustments and this was brought and i was completely blank about what they are writing here or what they wrote here because they wrote terms like OCI other comprehensive income I never heard the term before and if you have never heard a term before it is difficult and problem here is that it was not explained anywhere in text the explanation of all these things what is OCI OCI ka meaning is not given in text OCI ka meaning is given in India's I did not understand I was scared because see if I am teaching CA final students I need to be perfect then only I can go and talk to them. I decided that because I don't know anything in India's I decided that I will take help of some of my professional colleagues so called experts in India's champions in India's the best people in India's who have in depth knowledge of India's I decided to consult them about the logic behind some of the points out here. Before that I used to think that I am the only one who does not know India's. But it is not true. The truth is that the person who made Indias, whoever is sitting in the government and notified the Indias, also does not know what is written out there. If you ask three or four questions to that person also know, that his logic is not enough. Our tendency is logic, logic, logic. There is always an answer. This is written in the law. But our tendency has changed over the years. I wanted to know the logic. Logic no one knew. Okay. Ab dekho tax ka any provision hai na. I am saying this because I have to give you a disclaimer. Tax ka koi bhi provision hai. We will do the section. We will discuss the logic. 
here what is being done in indes is affecting tax okay so i will give you the tax adjustments and the reason or the logic behind the tax ka adjustment is the indes ka adjustment i can take you till there so what is written in indes because of that the impact in tax what is written in indes because of that the impact in tax but i unfortunately cannot take you a step further sir why is this written in indes why does indes say so indes ka kya logic hai that is where i will have to stop i can't cross that line that is not my subject my task will be simple indes says this therefore tax may we have to make this particular adjustment before we start the adjustments one thing you have to be clear that this is not a replacement of the 29 adjustments this is over and above 29 matlab start with net profit add side 15 adjustments less side 14 adjustments after that if the company is in this compliant to make these extra adjustments so your per, your chronology no when you are solving the sum it is always going to be 29 then this 29 then this but problem kya madam these adjustments are so big that 10 mark ka sums can come only on this so there cannot be a question where they test you on those 29 and this what they do is they give you book profit after 29 adjustments so no book profit after 29 and then they give you this data so you get 10 marks only on this so in book profit computation either they will ask you question on those 29 or they will ask you on these adjustments if they ask you on these adjustments that means those 29 are already done because as i told you these will happen after those 29 but isme bhi they play a game they say book profit after all the adjustments from 29 except the brought forward losses now do you understand how important is that brought forward losses wala point in book profit that even when they have to ask a question on these adjustments and not ask anything from 29 they still ask that adjustment and 10 may say two marks that will carry because indes ka adjustments in terms of number of adjustments will be less steps will be less steps will be less so how to allocate 10 marks two will be allocated for that brought forward losses matlab you will start with book profit as given in the question do that brought forward loss ka adjustment so you will get book profit before indes ka adjustment then do these indes ka adjustment and you score your 10 marks very very scoring where it may be a little complicated only for those students who have not studied anything in indes and if you have not studied anything in indes still you will understand okay understanding won't be a problem and marks scoring is so ridiculously easy i am telling you 10 out of 10 is possible all right so what are these indes adjustments first of all why were they required because our concept is logic while i have told you that i cannot discuss logic of indes i am still going to discuss things that tax wala part will become very very clear so under the old regime companies used to prepare their final accounts using accounting standard where accounting standards follow historical cost concept where accounting standard says that assets have to be recorded at that original cost in your accounts ordinarily revaluation is not permitted also okay but according to the new system assessees have to move from the traditional accounting standard regime to the modern indes regime where indes ka main feature main characteristic of the indes accounting system is indes is based on something called fair value accounting indes basically wants you to recognize the present clear and true picture of your assets and liabilities why is this required uske piche bhi ek logic hai traditionally we have been making our accounts as per historical cost but why fair value accounting is necessary i'll tell you supposingly we had purchased a land for rupees 10 lakh 40 years ago so how will our balance sheet be made in the old regime on the asset side we will write land ka value 10 lakh rupees even today after 40 years it is still 10 lakh 
बिकॉज ट्रेडिशनल अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड फॉलोड हिस्टोरिकल कॉस्ट कॉन्सेप्ट विल द लैंड का वैल्यू रिमेन सेम टेन लैके ओवर दी फोर्टी ईयर्स एज ऑफ टूडे नहीं ऑब्वियसली एफ एम वी विल चेंज सपोजिंगली द एफ एम वी प्रेजेंटली इज एटी फाइव लैख रुपीज एज ऑन डेट एज ऑफ टूडे बट बैलेंस शीट विल स्टिल शो कितना टेन लैख रुपीज दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड इफ यू नो द प्रॉब्लम नो यू विल अंडरस्टैंड वाई इंडिया वॉज रिक्वायर्ड वाई इंडिया इज बेस्ड ऑन फेयर वैल्यू अकाउंटिंग ये सर मालूम है बट वाई सुनो today if some new investor comes and reads the financial statement of this company so on the asset side he will find the land worth the 10 lakh and this amount on the asset side will not give a clear picture to the investor the investor needs to be educated that in case the company goes into any kind of liquidation and this land has to be sold the company is going to get not just a 10 lakh not what the balance sheet is showing the company will get its present market value of 85 lakh rupees so as a shareholder you will get huge amount of cash even if the company goes under liquidation so don't worry bindas invest in this company but this 10 lakh ka figure in accounts will not give only that picture no that is the problem with our accounting standards no mitro maximum we we, we do what bracket may be right fmv but that bracket may recover figure does not give the picture in the accounts financial statements you understand and because this 10 lakh is you understand the following terms you call it historical cost or sunk cost irrelevant cost absolutely not relevant as of today an amount that can be ignored also so actually this 10 lakh is of no use and which is where indes comes into picture which says that your balance sheet should show land ka value as 85 lakh so that reader of a financial statement will get the exact picture of the present statement of affairs of the company in other words we have to change the value of our land from 10 lakh to 85 lakh in our accounts and what is the logic behind that dekho i told you that i will not do indes ka logic but i am telling you the indes ka logic what is the logic behind recording it at? 75 lakh rupees ka extra matlab 85 lakh ka value so that reader will get clear picture of the company is that clear in other words can i say therefore we will have to do land account debit 75 is sir 75 q 85 nahi nahi to 10 is already there no land account debit 75 lakh rupees are you understanding are you understanding this a problem ye hai that accounting book keeping is double entry book keeping system if we debit land account we have to credit something historically we have been crediting revaluation but revaluation dikhana is as good as the reader knows no revaluation kya matlab you are saying that the land ka value is 85 so that way to anyone can say it 50 also he will not trust the revaluation reserve ka figure you have to do this without revaluation reserve mitro you have to do this without revaluation तो समझ ऐसी सेट ठीक है विदाउट रिवैल्यूएशन है तो एक काम करते हैं टू पी एन एल कर देते हैं डोंट क्रिएट रिवैल्यूएशन क्रेडिट टू पी एन एल बट दिस विल क्रिएट प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम ये है दैट इफ वी डू टू पी एन एल अकाउंट दैट मींस वी आर क्रेडिटिंग एन अक्रूड बट नॉट रियलाइज गेन ऑन अवर एसेट इन अवर प्रॉफिट अवर प्रॉफिट विल बी शोइंग एन इंक्रीज बाई सेवेंटी फाइव लैख रुपीज ऑफ A ridiculously abnormal amount, which has got nothing to do with the day-to-day -day operations of the company, and which is why, in Indias, your profit and loss account is going to be a little different from how you have been drawing your trading and P&L account all your life. The trading and P&L account all your life will change a bit when it comes to making accounts as per Indias. एक तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इसका नेम इज आई थिंक नाउ आई थिंक यू शुड बी अवेयर इट इज कॉल्ड स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट दिस स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉफिट और लॉस अकाउंट विल बी डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स टू पार्ट्स में डेबिट साइड क्रेडिट साइड दैट इज ओके बट टू पार्ट्स में वी विल बी डिवाइडिंग द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस टॉप एंड बॉटम अब आप बोलना मत नहीं सर हम तो दैट वी हैव बीन डूइंग सिंस चाइल्डहुड ट्रेडिंग पीएनएल नहीं ऑल योर ट्रेडिंग एंड पीएनएल का ऑल योर एंट्रीज विल कम हियर ऑल योर Normal revenue incomes 
and revenue expenses everything will come here that means the top part of your profit and loss account will show the profit from your day to day operations if we credit that 75 year so do you realize we will show a ridiculously disturbing picture of our profit i'll tell you what supposingly this is a loss making company this company has suffered business loss of 40 lakhs but you know what still it will reflect a profit of 35 lakhs how because of that abnormal gain on increase in value of asset a loss making company will be reflected as a profit making company because of an abnormal entry of increase in value of asset so while we want to increase our value of asset we can't write in pnl and isliye in indes our pnl will have a second part to record all the abnormal obviously gains will come on the credit side and abnormal losses aisa bhi to ho sakta tha land ka value has reduced from 10 lakh to 1 lakh think about the other angle think about the other angle land ka value has reduced from 10 lakh to 1 lakh that means it's a loss of 9 lakhs supposingly company is a profit making company it has profit of 5 lakhs profit making company hai but i debited that loss of 9 lakh here that means can i say profit making company will be shown as a loss making company if we record abnormal entries here yeah in our previous example loss making company is being shown as a profit making company if we record abnormal items here so abnormal incomes and losses will not be recorded in the top part only normal entries will be recorded all your abnormal gain supposingly land ka value has increased to so 75 lakh rupees you write here supposingly land ka value has decreased from 10 lakh to 1 lakh to so 9 lakh you write loss here all your abnormal entries will be recorded in the bottom part of your pnl and ladies and gentlemen this bottom part of your pnl is known as oci that is other comprehensive income what is oci a part of pnl part 2 of pnl pnl in indias will have two parts part 1 normal income normal expenses day to day operations ka profit part 2 abnormal entries abnormal gains and losses something which we need to record but it should not distort the profit figure the moment this new format is adopted let us see whether the objective with which we started is being served we started with an objective that our asset should show their real value have we increased our asset to its real value once we did this once we record 75 have we increased our asset to its real value have we achieved that objective yes without disturbing the profit from operations yes or no can i say both work is done double activity done true value of assets and liabilities recorded without disturbing the profit figure and therefore we have normal and abnormal entries is that clear so are we changing the way we make our accounts automatically net profit ka figure will be impacted so automatically book profit ka calculation has to be taken care of. and now ladies and gentlemen comes indes ka discussion is over now comes the tax wala part you all understood indes mein abnormal income and losses ke liye we have the second part oci this is can i say your profit from normal operations this will be taken as the base for mat computation to so, short term memory loss what is starting point of book profit net profit as per pnl add 15 less 14 these adjustments are not replacement they are over and above so which is your starting point this is your starting point matlab your normal operations profit will be taken as starting point for computation of book profit that will be taken as your base do you understand what i am saying samjha to answer this if this is the amount with which i start my book profit are all the incomes that come here taken in the mat ka computation yes and all the expenses that come here deducted in the mat ka computation here if you have done any of those entries you know income tax debited dividend debited blah 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 so you have to do your 15 and 14 ka adjustments but what i am trying to tell you is if this is the starting point of mat net profit as per pnl that means all the entries that come 
in the top part of PNL are already a part of book profit taken care of. We don't have to do anything. Are you understanding? But now focus on the second part. The second part, the abnormal part, which in India is called OCI. There are abnormal gains that we have recorded here and abnormal losses that we have recorded. Are you clear? My question is, these gains ka or these losses ka impact, has it come in our book profit? No. Why no? Because we start with this. That means whatever is in part 2 of PNL has not yet come in my book profit. I will have to bring it by doing additional adjustments. So, ladies and gentlemen, the companies which adopt index, their profit and loss account will be divided in two parts, normal and abnormal, which is OCI. Normal wala profit will be taken as base. So, in normal wala profit, whatever income and expenses have come are already a part of book profit. But in the abnormal wala part, whatever incomes or losses are coming, that has not come, we will have to bring it. And we will have to make extra adjustments in our book profit that is called OCI adjustments. Are you clear? So, we are learning OCI adjustments in computation of book profit. OCI, OCI is the second. Have you all understood what is OCI, other comprehensive income? Part 2 of PNL. You must have studied this in India, I am sure, because DT people take them late. DT, IDT are generally the last subjects which students study advisable to study also in the end because of amendments okay other comprehensive under index thoda sa features i am telling you is generally divided into two categories other comprehensive contains on our abnormal entries yes or no sometimes it will have items which are today abnormal Today abnormal matlab where have we recorded? OCI. But it is possible that one day it will become a part of my normal operations. Matlab today I am recording this entry year or year depending upon it is a profit or loss. One day I will transfer it in the top part of my PNL. Today it is abnormal. Tomorrow it will become normal. They are known as items that will be reclassified. to profit and loss. Today they are abnormal but as per index one day they will become normal. One day they will become normal. Matlab from the bottom part we will transfer to the top part. Now my question is if one day they will be transferred to the top part if one day they will be transferred to the top part will their impact come in book profit? Automatically because the moment they go in the top part their impact comes in this amount. So, fir, what do we have to do? We don't have to do anything. You can ignore this table, Bindas, because this will take care of itself. You don't have to do anything. Other comprehensive income, the second part of PNL, which is created to record your abnormal entries, but some entries can become normal in future as per index. If they become normal, so from OCI they will get removed. And where will they go? Part 1 PNL. That means they will come in book profit on their own. Whether today or tomorrow, but they will come. So you don't have to do anything. But there is a part two. Items that will not be, will not be reclassified to PNL. Matlab, matlab suno. Are these entries abnormal today? And they will forever remain abnormal. From here, they will be directly sent to balance sheet. It will never come in part 1. It will never come in part 1. And if it will never come in part 1, matlab, can I say it will never come in book profit, whether income or loss? So you will have to bring it. Then you will have to bring it. And this is where your adjustment starts. Anything that is credited, to OCI. Do you understand? It is a gain. It is a profit. Which will not come on its own. Which will not come on its own. So you bring it. How will you bring it? Income you have to bring by adding. And if it is a debit. 
it's a loss. You have to record that loss because it will not come on its own. How will you bring the loss in your book profit? By lessing it. And no matter how complicated this appears, when you solve some, it will become comedy, I am telling you. Complication only because we don't know anything in index. When you solve the sum, net profit will be given. First, you do 29. But if they ask on index, no, those 29 are going to be done. Book loss, matlab, broad forward losses ka adjustment will be done. So take the profit, subtract the broad forward loss. Can I say we are done with book profit before index? Those 29, first step is those 29. Then you come here. They will give you OCI ka details. Listen carefully. Table 1. Items of OCI that will be reclassified to PNL in future. What to do with that table? Ignore it like Modi ignores Kejriwal. Ignore. Second table. Items that will not be reclassified to PNL. It will contain credits and debits. What to do with the credits? Add. And debits? Less. 4 marks. 4 marks you will get only for this much. For ignoring one table and adjusting the other table, you will get 4 marks. Okay. Just remember the exceptions because this is where you will be tested. Scoring the 4 marks is not as easy as you think it is. There are 2 things that you will not adjust. First, if there is any investment in equity instrument, Or if there is something called revaluation surplus of any asset. Equity instruments, matlab, can I say you have invested in equity shares and their value has changed? Dekho, what have we studied here? Value of any asset changes to record that profit. Or revaluation surplus can be for any other asset. For example, this 75 was nothing but revaluation surplus of our land. This you will not take logical enough. Use your brain and understand. Land ka value has increased from 10 to 85. That is an increase of 75. Have you earned that profit? Have you realized that profit? Any profit which has accrued but not yet realized. It is unfair to tax the SSE on such a thing. There will be a time in future. There will be a time in future where you will recognize these gains or losses. In that future year, in the year of actual gain or loss, recognize this. Today, only the market value of my land has increased. So, no, the answer. Supposingly, I sell my land at 85. Is it a realized gain? Then you take 75 ka profit from OCI. We will add no credit, eh, na? we will add. Then you take. But if it is only an increase in market price, it is an unrealized, only accrued but unrealized gain. And any gain which is not yet realized, you are expecting a profit in future. You don't pay tax on that today. You pay tax on when you earn the profit, not because you expect a profit in future. Samja? So, these two things will come in book profit. But when? When the actual gain or loss takes place in that future year, it will come. Deco, I'll tell you something. These items are also written in OCI. They will also come in book profit one day. When? That year when they get reclassified. Automatically they will come. So, that is why we don't have to do anything. Likewise, these two things will come but not today. In future, when you actually realize the gain, you take that in your book profit in that year. So, today you will ignore. And to ignore that, you get marks. So, what they will give you? They will give you a table. They will say following are the credits, following are the debits. Some items here, some items here. Aisa karke, they will give you a list of entries. Okay. First table, items that will be reclassified to profit and loss account. Ignore that table. Second table, items that will not be reclassified. Usme they will do what you know. On the credit side, one thing will be, one of them, investment in equity instruments. On the debit side, one thing will be, revaluation surplus. Matlab, this you ignore. This you ignore. They will come in future. And the remaining thing, 
दिस क्रेडिट यू एड इन बुक प्रॉफिट दिस डेबिट यू लेस इन बुक प्रॉफिट कॉन्ग्रेचुलेश नाउ यू हैव स्कोर योर फोर मार्क्स Purposely, they will give one on credit side, one on debit side. Out of the two that you have to ignore, one in the credits, one in the debits. Ignore both of them, and the remaining ka you do the add less that has to be done, and that is how you will get your four marks by doing OCI wala adjustments, adjustments of OCI. Iske liye you will get four marks. This part, this part will bring four marks for you. Are you with me? To mitro suno. First of all, are we clear? In days, fair value accounting record assets at their present value. But don't distort a PNL. Don't show wrong picture. So for PNL abnormal entries, we create part two. What is that part two called in PNL? Other comprehensive income. Other comprehensive income will contain all the abnormal gains and losses. Some of them will become normal in future and will be reclassified. They will come on their own. You don't need to do anything. Because starting point of your mat will be top part ka PNL ka profit. So if anything comes in top part, it will come in mat. But there will be some abnormal entries which will directly go to balance sheet. They will not come in top part. So you have to bring how to bring profits by adding and how to bring losses by lessing. But two things you don't take today. You will take in future when the actual gain or loss takes place. That is revaluation surplus and investment in equity instruments. One day they will be taken care of. So one day this will come. One day this will come. Everything else you have to take today. Is that clear? Is part ka you get four marks OCI adjustments. So are we clear on the first part? And don't forget this will happen after twenty nine. You all remember that no? First twenty nine then this. Chalo. Part two adjustment. OCI will come in every question of India as for four marks. This will never come. because this part 2 is applicable only for a company that has undergone demerger dekho all companies don't undergo demerger and whichever company undergoes demerger that will not do it every year you have brains to understand what i am saying if a company has underwent demerger in the current year so there will be some adjustments as per the indas on kaun sa what is the indas number on demerger What is the index number? You have been thodi der pehle pucha FR is done, index is done. Bola yes sir. Index number on demerger? Nahi. Chhod do. Chhod do. I never expected also that you. No. Uh, inside ka data is to out of question. Number also I did not expect anyone to. No, and it is very very normal to not know anything in index. It is very very normal. It is okay. FR is the new iska. मतलब index is the new iska. It's okay. it's okay focus on what is happening when a company undergoes demerger there is some distribution of non cash assets to shareholders sometimes there may be some distribution of non cash assets not every company will do that it depends on what is in case there is a liquidity crisis there may be some distribution and if such a distribution has taken place so as per the indas on demerger it is likely that you have earned a profit or you have suffered a loss if the value of the asset was more than what you should have given to your shareholder matlab you have given the shareholder more that means you have suffered a loss you have given him more than what he deserved and if you have given him less than what it is of obviously that means you have saved something that's a profit in days will force you to recognize this profit matlab can i say this will be credited in your pnl account and this loss will be debited in your pnl account whenever you have made any distribution to shareholders so in days will force you to recognize it recognize the profit how to recognize profit in accounts by crediting it recognize the loss how to recognize the loss by debiting it come on mitro tax bolta hai we de recognize them tax says de recognize we don't want tax on the profit now all the knowledge that you have gained during book profit computation we don't want tax on this profit but you have already credited the profit so has it come in your net profit ka figure 
टैक्स सेस रिमूव दीज फिगर्स तो नाउ टेल मी वॉट विल यू डू विद द डी मर्जर प्रॉफिट दे आर क्रेडिटेड बट वी डोंट वॉन्ट दे वॉट टू डू आई एम गिविंग यू ओनली टू ऑप्शन एड और लेस लेस एंड यू नो वॉट प्लीज फोकस ऑन द डिफरेंस डिफरेंस यर दीज आर प्रॉफिट दैट यू हैव नॉट रेकॉर्डेड बट वी वॉन्ट यू टू ब्रिंग द प्रॉफिट तो यू विल हैव टू एड दीज आर लॉसेज दैट यू हैव नॉट रेकॉर्डेड वी वॉन्ट यू टू इनकॉर्पोरेट द लॉस तो वी विल लेस बट यर दिस इज अ प्रॉफिट दैट यू हैव रेकॉर्डेड वी वॉन्ट टू रिमूव द डिफरेंस इज यर वी हैव टू ब्रिंग द प्रॉफिट यर वी हैव टू रिमूव द प्रॉफिट दैट इज द डिफरेंस एंड लाइक वाइज यर इफ यू हैव रियली अंडरस्टूड तो टेल मी एज फार एज द लॉसेज आर कंसर्न यू हैव डेबिटेड द लॉसेज but we don't want to allow you the loss so what will you do now tell me now tell me and so the difference is purely this much mitro here we have to bring and here we have to remove in days will make you recognize the incomes and losses but tax does not want you to recognize them and therefore tax says remove eliminate them samjha kya mitro to that is what you will have to do but this will never come in exam because practically it is irrelevant not all companies will have demerger and even if they have it won't be every year as against this compare with oci will there be change in my assets and liabilities ka value every balance sheet to so every balance sheet there will be oci entries and if every balance sheet there will be oci entries to so every year in book profit after 29 this will come after 29 but this will come this will come every year for every company every year for every company and therefore every sum for four marks whatever comes practically they ask in exam but this won't come only no so they never ask but in case they ask also now we are clear that year we had to bring the profit and loss so bring profit by adding and loss by subtracting year we have to remove the already recorded profit and loss so remove profit by minusing and loss by adding back is that clear it won't come but we had to discuss this so we have discussed and now the third part of india's adjustments this will come and it will always come for two marks okay so if you want break up of marks two marks will come for your broad forward losses ka adjustment even if they don't ask a 29 they ask a broad forward losses four marks will come for oci six ho gaya this part two marks will be for this thing eight marks one mark will be for computation of mat 9 and one mark will be for computation of mat credit which we are yet to learn the last concept of the chapter that's the break up of 10 marks in india's adjustment point 3 will come for two marks in every question the concept of transition amount transition amount will play a big role especially for those assessees for those assessees who have done first time adoption of india's when you adopt the first time what is going to happen please understand okay supposingly your 31st march 20 ka balance sheet is as per accounting standard and your 30 oh yeah as per accounting standard ni sorry my bad is already as per indias matlab can i say you have adopted in indias some time back and 31st march 21 ka balance sheet you are making that is also obviously as per indias are both balance sheets as per indias still there will be change in value of asset between this balance sheet date and this balance sheet date but this change is only for the year you understand it's it's a change a fluctuation only between last balance sheet and this balance sheet obviously we have to take it to oci and do the adjustment that we have already studied what you need to understand is between two balance sheet dates there won't be much of fluctuation minor amounts hoga so can we adjust it as per the oci adjustments of the current year now let's talk about a company which on 31st march 18 prepared its balance sheet according to accounting standards so there is one figure of asset say 10 lakh of our example original example and 31st march 19 ki balance sheet mein the company has done first time 
adoption of indes that means can i say now all the assets will be as per fair value accounting obviously there will be a difference between the two values but this is going to be a huge difference of many years 40 years was our example bahut simple hai one year ka difference you can record in oci but 40 years ka difference you cannot record in oci of 1819 you understand and therefore this huge difference will be recorded by way of something called a transition amount we will adjust the transition amount but not in one year ka book profit computation we will adjust it in a phased manner we will adjust only one fifth of the transition amount over a period of 5 years matlab we are spreading over the effect of such a big period over 5 years if once again come here if it's a difference between last balance sheet and this balance sheet is it a one year ka difference yes so can it be recorded in one year ka oci no problem but 40 years ka difference cannot be recorded in one year ka income otherwise that one particular income will be very very big so we will spread over the effect for how many years 5 years so we are recording like we are doing oci only but not full amount in one year over a period of 5 years which 5 years the year of convergence what is the meaning of year of convergence that balance sheet where you are making your indes accounts for the first time in our example 31st march 19 प्लस फोर इयर्स तक यू हैव टू एडजस्ट देखो फाइव इयर्स मतलब टोटल फाइव तो फर्स्ट टाइम दिस ईयर का ओसीआई यू विल डू वन फिफ्थ एडजस्टमेंट एंड नेक्स्ट फोर इयर्स यू विल डू वन फिफ्थ वन फिफ्थ इन अदर वर्ड्स दिस मैसिव डिफरेंस विल नॉट बी एडजस्टेड इन वन ईयर इट विल बी स्प्रेड ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ फाइव इयर्स एंड हाउ टू डू दैट दैट इज वेरी इजी इफ इट इज अ क्रेडिट बैलेंस यूज योर ब्रेन एंड टेलमी इफ ट्रांजेक्शन अमाउंट इज अ क्रेडिट बैलेंस दैट मीन्स कैन आई से वी हैव एड अ गेन ओवर द इयर्स So what to do? One fifth of the transition amount you will have to add over a period of five years. And if transition amount is a debit balance, मतलब over the years your net worth का value has reduced, your asset का value has reduced, so we will less. So transition amount is same as OCI. Credit balance add debit balance less. Difference is OCI is of one year. to do full adjustment transition amount is a period of huge number of years to do installment wise and spread over a period of 5 years otherwise it is absolutely same only okay so transition amount divided by 5 will be adjusted over a period of 5 years if credit balance then add if debit balance then less but they have explained that transition amount ke calculation mein following things you have to take care of first of all transition amount ka definition in indes this has got nothing to do with tax it will exclude the two figures of capital reserve and securities premium this has been excluded from the definition of transition amount under indes you have studied this concept of transition amount under indes nahi koi baat nahi it's okay some are saying yes some are saying no some are saying starts in broad daylight and it is very normal point ye hai that if you have been given capital reserve or securities premium to exclude it from the add or less that you are doing so before you apply 15 i hope you remember you don't have to adjust full transition amount you have to adjust only 15 first subtract this amount then adjust 15 ओके तो टू मार्क्स यू विल गेट ऐसे इजीली नहीं ना दे विल गिव यू फिफ्टी लैख का ट्रांजेक्शन अमाउंट क्रेडिट बैलेंस फिफ्टी लैख का वन फिफ्थ इज टेन लैख विच यू हैव टू ऐड बट दे विल से इन दिस फिफ्टी लैख दैट इज फाइव लैख का सिक्योरिटीज प्रीमियम तो देन यू विल नॉट डू फिफ्टी लैख का वन फिफ्थ यू विल डू फोर्टी फाइव का वन फिफ्थ एंड देन ऑफकोर्स क्रेडिट है तो एड डेबिट को लेस ओके एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट ट्रांजेक्शन अमाउंट विल ऑल्सो एक्सक्लूड फॉर द फॉलोइंग बट द डिफरेंस इज these two are excluded from the definition of transition amount matlab these two will be excluded forever 
but following will be excluded in the current year but they will be considered in future one day they will come today you have to exclude but future may they will come ek baat batao for you it is very easy whether it is forever exclude or current year exclude in your sum you have to minus these two also and these also you have to exclude both okay these are excluded forever from the definition but what are these very familiar though they are six but very easy items that will be reclassified today it is abnormal one day it will become normal will it come in the pnl on its own so you don't have to take it it will come on its own ha but current year may you still have to exclude it will come whenever it has to current year may you still have to exclude next abhi familiar lagega revaluation surplus of assets investment in equity instruments are we going to take it in future yes absolutely in which year in that year when we actually realize this gain in that year when we actually realize that year we will take so we are only excluding temporarily now you understand the difference there are three more points but because these three are already there in oci i know so it becomes easy they will also be excluded they will also be excluded but difference is they are excluded from the definition and they are excluded only in the current year they will automatically come in the future year but while solving the sum your task is very easy pick up the transition amount which is given in the question they will give you one from this and one from these six pakka hai that is how they have been asking questions since 2018 so minus this figure also minus this figure also that will give you the final adjustable transition amount after that what will you do don't adjust that amount do one fifth then if it is a credit balance add or a debit balance to less and finally you get your two marks next if you have any property plant and equipment which is recorded at fair value you know pp you know kit nahi re pp kit nahi property plant and equipment there is apna jo fixed asset ka accounting standard tha na that has become ppe in indias okay so same concept you are recognizing their fair value but it is an unrealized gain we will take it in future when will all this come when they become realized so right now they will be excluded next if you have done any investment in subsidiary or joint venture is it possible that the value of that investment has gone up down because of profit or loss in the subsidiary or joint venture we will not recognize it today when will we recognize when we actually sell or dispose our investment the actual realized gain or loss will be recorded expected gain or loss will not be recorded are you understanding now chaliye and last if there is any investment in foreign operations matlab foreign currency ka translation difference also we will not be recognizing right now one day when we will actually sell our foreign operations and finally realize gain or loss will come that day we are going to take care of this matlab whatever items we are excluding here will be taken care of one fine day which is that one fine day in future in the year of actual gain or loss they will all be taken care of in the year of actual gain or loss they will be taken care of in the year of actual gain or loss but right now you have to exclude so the sum solving part becomes very easy pick up the transition amount minus this also this also we are not interested that this will never come this will come right now you minus both after minusing divide by 5 if credit balance to add debit balance to less two marks for your transition amount so oci adjustment ka four marks transition amount ka two marks six marks to yahan pe ho gaya demerger will never come other marks will be for your broad forward losses for your mat computation and that is how they make that 10 mark ka sum yaad rahe indias adjustments are not a replacement of 29 they are over and above the 29 adjustments and this also only appears complicated there is only one type of question that they have asked again and again and it's a very very scoring question 10 out of 10 is also possible in the indias ka question have we understood the oci and the transition amount ka adjustments okay chaliye fantastic 
with this we come to the last concept of mat the concept of mat credit the concept of mat credit what is this concept first a small example to make you understand the logic behind that supposingly you have got normal tax all inclusive including surcharge and says 10 lakh and you have minimum alternate tax all inclusive 12 lakh so what is your liability words may to liabilities whichever is higher well we are near completion of the chapter you obviously know that words may if it is higher so amount wise in this example it will be 12 ab ab aata hai concept now comes the concept where you have to understand what i am asking are we being made to pay more tax because of mat how much is the extra that we are being made to pay because of mat so in that case we will grant you a mat credit of 2 lakhs so now listen to my statement whenever an assc pays mat because it is higher the extra paid due to mat is your mat credit the extra paid due to mat is your mat credit samjha year 2 normal tax 10 lakh mat 15 chalo tell me what is your liability 50 am i being made to pay extra because of mat what is that extra amount which will become my mat credit 5 but 2 ka credit brought forward plus 5 that is 7 so one statement is clear extra paid due to mat is your mat credit sir kya karu mat credit ka achar dalu what to do sir similar credits to west side also gives me shopping points similar credit icici ka hdfc ka credit card gives me miles wala what to do with this sir karne ka kya sir what to do nachu suno in future is it possible that your mat has become higher than your normal sorry your normal has become higher than your mat going by the rule of normal or mat whichever is higher your liability ideally should come to 13 but from this 13 we will allow you to utilize mat credit how much is lying in your mat credit account as of now 7 lakh 7 hai but we can allow you to utilize maximum 3 because minimum this much has to be paid your liability cannot go below this we will allow you but maximum 3 or suno 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 this 3 ka credit contains this 2 and from this 5 we have taken 1 ek baat batao from 7 lakh how much credit we are allowed to utilize maximum 3 maximum the difference so how much carry forward 4 that 4 will come from this 5 we will follow fee 4 because let me tell you at the outset the carry forward is given for 15 years after 15 years it will lapse so obviously we will take 2 lakh first then we will take from 5 lakh and so on and so forth now see if you understand the following statement statement number one whenever mat is higher credit will accrue credit will be the difference and it will accrue in future whenever normal is higher credit will be utilized maximum utilization will be to the extent of difference because your liability cannot go below mat and remaining credit will be credit credit carried forward for 15 years so we will follow fee for this understood so when mat is higher credit will accrue when normal is higher credit will be utilized mat is higher credit will accrue normal is higher credit will be utilized barabar hai sir sir but why ye hai kya cheez sir sir logic suno okay in accounts i am following accrual system of accounting कौन सा सिस्टम अक्रूअल एंड इन नॉर्मल मतलब इनकम टैक्स प्रोविजन आई एम फॉलोइंग कैश इज दैट पॉसिबल सो देर इज अ क्रेडिट सेल्स दैट आई हैव डन ध्यान से सुनना वन स्टोरी विल क्लियर एवरीथिंग क्रेडिट सेल्स विल दैट प्रॉफिट कम इन बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स यस बट दैट प्रॉफिट विल नॉट कम हियर बिकॉज आई हैव नॉट रिसीव्ड मनी एंड आई एम फॉलोइंग कैश 
system. Because there is a profit which has come in accounts but not in tax, so accounts wala book profit will be higher. So mat will be higher. Yes or no? Same thing happened in the next year also. Credit sales. So accounts are showing profit. But tax is not showing profit. I have not received cash. Mat being higher, I have to pay. In the third year, my debtor paid me the money. If my debtor paid me money, I will not recognize in accounts again. I have already recognized. This time the profit will be recognized in tax. Therefore, this time normal will be higher. And you end up making the assessee pay 13 lakhs year. Hello? Ha, network at Kata. Listen. This time if you make the assessee pay 13, which is higher of the two, that means you know what stupidity is happening. One income is coming in, coming in accounts one year and tax in the next year. Accounts one year, tax in the next year. First year mein, accounts mein, that is coming. So book profit is higher. So you are paying mat. Second year mein, it is coming in tax. So normal tax is higher. So you are paying normal tax. Matlab, same amount is making this income higher one year and that income higher in the other year. So same amount ke upar you are paying tax whichever is higher ke logic. Sir. That's not fair. If there is an amount which has come in tax, in one year or accounts in the next year or accounts in one year and tax in the next year then we can't make you pay tax on the same amount again and again so mat ki wajay se if there is any tax to utilize it against your normal automatically that adjustment will be given to you is that clear but sometimes it is possible that you have some deduction which you have not taken in accounts but you have taken in tax and reversal is never possible that is our target when we brought mat okay so to save you from double taxation, we are giving you mat credit for those incomes which come here in one year and there in the other year that will be taken care of. But your permanent differences will not be taken care of. Have we understood that permanent differences will not be taken care of. Clear hai everyone? Absolutely. Well, in that case, ladies and gentlemen, that's your concept of mat credit. I repeat the statement. Statement number one. Whenever, whenever mat is higher credit will accrue in future whenever normal becomes higher credit will be utilized the maximum utilization will be to the extent of difference and credit will be carried forward for 15 years and have we also understood the logic behind that one income one year in accounts next year in tax so you are paying higher on both occasions we don't want that Samja? and related to mat credit the last point of the chapter the excess mat credit due to difference in foreign tax credit will lapse the excess mat credit due to difference in foreign tax credit will lapse the excess mat credit due to difference in foreign tax credit will lapse so, if there is excess mat credit due to difference in foreign tax credit, it will lapse. I said the statement four times. It is clear now. We can declare the chapter over. Clear ho gaya na statement? The, achha, I'll say it one more time. The excess mat credit due, due to the difference in foreign. Nahi, abhi bhi clear nahi. Nahi? Achha, I'll translate in Hindi so it will become clear. Then how does anyone become a hero? Just by reading a line in English and translating it in Hindi. I'll tell you how. Pay 5 lakh rupees to YouTube. Get 1 lakh subscribers. Create a good online image. And automatically everyone is like, you are the best, you are the best. My open challenge is simple. Simple. Watch both for half an hour and take a call on yourself. Don't go by the numbers because numbers are manipulated. We are chartered accountants. You should know this better than anyone else. Make a make an informed decision. Dhruvin 7th December. Make an informed decision. Samja? Chal. 194H ka we will discuss in TDS ka chapter. Alright. So, in order to understand this concept, when this concept came for the first time, by reading the line itself, I came to know what the government is trying to say by this line. But to explain it to students, I had to create numbers. I sat down with a pen and a paper. The, this came about 4-5 years ago. I sat down with a pen and paper. I took an example of book profit and example of normal tax. 
दोनों का लाइब्रेरी मतलब नॉर्मल टैक्स और मैट आई डिड फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल दैट एग्जाम्पल डिड नॉट गिव मी आंसर तो आई चेंज द फिगर्स I said for about three four hours. Finally, I reached at a figure where I am actually able to explain this full concept in complete detail, and I have written that full example in the theory book that I have given to you. Also, some students who have already taken the handwritten book are also aware that the same example is there in the handwritten book also as well as the theory book. So, whichever book you have, you just open that. It is only a numerical example that I have created, and from that I can directly explain to you. it will save some time for us it is only some numbers that i have to show you once you see the numbers you will understand the concept altogether so if you have the handwritten book to handwritten book otherwise if you have the theory book to theory book there is somewhere in the theory book that example given same numbers that i am talking about here so i am showing you from the handwritten book thoda sa kya handwritten book ka bhi publicity mil jayega we are doing a chapter called minimum alternate tax kam se kam mat to de re baba Which ever is higher, okay? There are some companies on whom MAT is not applicable. So as I said, this scheme तेरे लिए नहीं है. You are aware of this or no, मित्रो? ये scheme तेरे लिए नहीं है. Then of course, did we discuss the normal tax rates of companies? So that is covered here. तुमको option दे रहे. This is Rati Shankar Shukla. If you don't know him, that means you don't have a lot of fun in your life. So take Prime का subscription. and watch mirzapur if you have not watched mirzapur season 1 and season 2 you are missing something really good in life i don't know whether it is dubbed in south indian languages so those who understand little hindi also should watch this ek bar jo company ne new taxation regime le liya uske baad apne aap ke bhi nahi sun sakta because once the option is exercised you are not allowed to change so well salman khan has been there in our examples all throughout now it enters he enters our book also same thing you apply for 115b ab also i like this guy i like this guy a lot okay so there are these companies to whom 115b ab ka manufacturing ka benefit is not going to be available so if you if you don't know this guy no that means so you are pakka missing something in life for those who don't know this google hindustani bhau okay watch his videos very very educating stuff he says he is very very innovative in the words he uses so you can google a bit about him and find out of course uske baad mein pura ka pura net profit ka computation is there all the points that we have been studying since morning in fact if you remember those revaluation ka examples and all that we did in the book profit computation all those examples are also uh, there here all the case laws that we have studied and this is the concept that i want to teach you we have written a statement you just ignore the statement and focus on the numbers we are talking about an example where normal income of the assessee is 1 crore 15 lakh matlab nti and book profit is 4 crore 30 lakh these are only examples and this is what i am telling you that these examples i derived after working for 3 4 hours okay and now that i have done that work some years ago i am using that work for all the batches that i am taking both amounts includes foreign income of 30 matlab dekho indian income was 85 plus foreign income 30 indian book profit was 4 crore Plus four n of thirty. Accordingly, eighty five plus thirty and four plus thirty. I hope you understand. If you are a resident company, your foreign income has to be included. Where there is a tax rate of twenty five percent. मतलब in that foreign country on this thirty lakh, you have paid tax of twenty five percent. And India does not have DT double A. India had DT double A, so you would have got foreign tax credit by way of bilateral. And India does not have DT double A. Still, you will get foreign tax credit by way of unilateral matlab i have taken an example of unilateral but foreign tax credit what have we written foreign tax credit it can be uni or bi i don't want that confusion i don't want that confusion if there is a treaty it will be bilateral if there is no treaty it will be unilateral for resident my question ka example has got unilateral but it can be uni or bi anything we have to find out foreign tax credit but are the numbers of the income clear chaliye we will calculate tax normal tax will be 30% on 115 including foreign income 1 crore 15 hai to 7% surcharge will also come 4% cess will also come you can verify these numbers later normal tax is 38 39 160 likewise on book profit we will calculate 15% your also surcharge will come because it is more than 1 crore cess will come 71 77 560 so normal tax is 38 39 mat is 71 77 what is higher of the two 71 77 and accordingly this higher of the two is going to be your liability 
and the difference between them will be the mat credit have we understood mat credit the difference between normal tax and mat which is coming to some 33 lakh 38 400 you can check the difference between these two figures 71 77 560 minus 38 39 160 will give you 33 38 400 so this becomes liability and this becomes mat credit correct or no but we have made a mistake if we say that here whichever is higher is my liability so there is a mistake because assess is eligible for foreign tax credit even if there is no treaty we will give unilateral and if there was a treaty so we would have given bilateral is the assess eligible for foreign tax credit Suno meri baat dhyan se. that means we will subtract unilateral relief from this amount and we will get normal tax after ftc after foreign tax credit Likewise, here also we will calculate unilateral relief mat after foreign tax credit. Matlab, can I say we will get the final normal tax and final mat? Final normal tax and final mat? That is where you compare whichever is higher. Comparing here is wrong. Compare at the end after foreign tax credit. Okay? So let us perform the steps of unilateral relief. Some memories of your chapter 1 will be required. Okay? Let's understand. 38, 39, 160 was calculated on 115. So, average rate of tax, you will get 33.38%. We do know Indian rate or foreign rate, whichever is lower. Correct? Unilateral ka calculation. Likewise, 77, 5, uh, 71, 77, 560 is on this. So, this is the average rate of tax. So, can I say we have the average rate of tax in India as per normal and as per mat? Compare this with foreign rate. What is foreign rate? 25. What is lower of the two? Here it will be 25, but here it will be 16.69. Remember, either ka tax, other ka tax, whichever is lower, Indian tax or foreign tax, whichever is lower. This is what, what, what I wanted in my example. I wanted a case where ek jaga pe Indian rate is lower and ek jaga pe foreign rate is lower. This is where I can create an example and I spent a few hours. Are you understanding what we have done till now? We have calculated normal tax. Average rate compared with foreign, whichever is lower. And MAT may average rate compared with foreign, whichever is lower. These two were our liabilities before foreign tax credit and it is wrong to compare here. Now we will calculate our relief. This is unilateral. I once again repeat, only an example. It can be bilateral also. Concept ke under word used is not unilateral. It is foreign tax credit, which can be anything. Are you with me? What is the doubly tax income on which we will get relief? 30 lakhs. Yaha pe 30 lakhs ka 25%. But yaha pe 16.69 lower of the two. So what is the relief here? 750 and here 5 lakh 700. Can I say 38, 39 may say you will get relief of 750. And 71, 77 may say you will get relief of 5 lakh 700. This will be your final tax after relief under normal and final tax after relief under mat this is the correct place to compare them if you did comparison over here and said 77 71 77 is the liability you were wrong because you have not yet taken your foreign tax credit did you understand the correct place to compare now finally tell me what is your liability this was the wrong place to compare comparison will happen here what is your final liability normal or mat mat 66 76 860 becomes your final payable amount what is your mat credit mat credit you will check the difference between the two the difference between the two will come to 35 87 700 my question is when we compared here it was coming to 33 38 the mat credit and our mat credit has magically increased to 35 87 700 that means 35, 87, 700 ka mat credit is coming. Earlier it was 33, 38, 400. How much is the difference? Two forty nine, three hundred. Now I am making a statement. Mat credit has increased from this figure to this figure after taking our foreign car relief. Correct or no? And you know why that happened? Because the foreign tax credit here 
and the foreign tax credit here are different figures. Now listen, simple arithmetic this is. Simple arithmetic. Supposingly both places 25% was the lower rate. So foreign tax credit of this amount and foreign tax credit of this amount would have been same. So the difference between these two tax liabilities and the difference between these two would have been same only. The MAT credit ka figure has not changed. MAT credit ke figure mein this difference has come only because the two tax credits are different. Or agar nahi samajhta hai, do one thing. What is the difference between the two foreign tax credit figures? What is the difference between the two figures? Ladies and gentlemen, that is the difference in the MAT credit. Your MAT credit was earlier 33, 38, 400. It magically increased to 35, 87, 700 because the foreign tax credit ka figures were different. And that was possible only if at one place this rate is lower, at the other place this rate is lower. If I had the same, meri baat suno, I did an example, I created an example where I took foreign tax ka rate as 15%. So here also it was 15%, here also it was 15 so both places I got 450 ka foreign tax credit. So the difference year and the difference year was same. It was still 3587700 only. So I could not explain. I was in a position to explain only if this credit and this credit are different. Okay. So earlier we were getting this as our MAT credit. But because of the difference in foreign tax credit, the difference between these two figures has increased. Ek baat bata deta hon. If you are asked a tax liability of this assessee, your answer has to be this figure. Anything else is wrong. But if you are asked what is the MAT credit, that comparison will not happen here. MAT credit will be 3338 only. Matlab, you will pay this liability. But take MAT credit from here and now see what is the statement that you have written. The excess MAT credit. Excess is how much? 249,300. Why has that excess come? Due to difference in foreign tax credit. The excess MAT credit due to the difference in foreign tax credit will lapse. The excess MAT credit due to difference in foreign tax credit will lapse. Matlab, you will choose 66 as your liability but still get credit of the lower amount because that credit is coming only because we are giving you foreign tax credit. If we were not giving you foreign tax credit, so that credit would have never arisen. Are you understanding? And therefore, you won't get that extra benefit of 249,300. Clear hai everyone? Now with the numbers, you have understood what is the meaning of the statement that we have written. You can understand with the help of these examples, not by reading a line in English four times and then translating in Hindi. Without examples, it is not possible to understand this concept. But have you understood the concept? I start talking very high about myself and you only don't get confidence. So that, that means the whole discussion is a total waste. Have you understood the concept? Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, congratulations. Abhin, by the way, thoda handwritten book ka or marketing. Ho gaya. But I'll tell you what, huge amount of effort is put to make a dry and boring subject interesting and entertaining no one on the planet can think that hindustani bhav can also come in our direct text ka syllabus so huge amount of effort is put and you need to accept and appreciate don't appreciate also but at least acknowledge ke haan hua hai effort all right so that was the end of our chapter minimum alternate tax thank you very much